this one. She's not my favorite and her husband is not my favorite. So let's talk about it. Uh, I waited on Catherine McPhee and met her when she was in Waitress on Broadway. And I can't remember if she was dating David Foster, engaged at the time. I don't think they were married yet. Anyway, uh, I was working at this restaurant that was very heavily uh, celebrity driven. And David Foster had recently come in and had a bad experience because he felt that when he came in, he wasn't given the attention he deserves. We didn't seat him right away. We didn't seat him where he wanted. It wasn't like there, there was no acknowledgement that, oh, David Foster is here. There was none of that. So he's pissy. And so he wasn't gonna come back. And so any restaurant is gonna try and salvage a, res uh, a relationship with a celebrity because that's just how the business works. And so because Catherine was with him, that extended to her, you know what I mean? So she was in Waitress. The show running time uh, is two hours and 30 minutes. So an eight o'clock show, the show would come down at 10.30. The last reservation at the restaurant is 10.30. There is no possible way that she could end the show, assuming the show started on time, get out of you know costume and makeup, meet the people she needs to pe meet, sign the autographs, take the pictures, and make her way all the way over to the restaurant. She was never there before 11, ever. She would call or her people would call, make the reservation. She would be the last table in the restaurant It'd be with her and friends or people from the show or whoever. She's just vile in my opinion. Uh, she's very affected. Uh, she's very much, she feels like she needs to be treated like a star. Uh, she knew what she was doing. She knew that she had the power to keep a restaurant open for her. She did not care that that affected anybody else. Uh, she didn't care that she could go to restaurants that were maybe still open. Nope, she wanted to keep open this restaurant. Yeah, and before you comment, yes, I know, the management and everybody should have said no. Nobody is gonna say no to a celebrity. Just, that's just how it works. Unless you are doing something horrible to a member of your staff, no one's gonna say no to a celebrity. And so this was all in the effort to salvage the relationship with David Foster because he didn't feel that there was enough recognition when he walked in the door. These two deserve each other.